guys, what's up? It's Jessica, and this video is actually going to be the last one I'm filming when I'm 16. As you could probably tell from the title of this video, it's going to be 16 things I've learned while being 16. Um, pretty obvious that I'm not going to be 16 because, yeah. Anyways, this video is already going to be up late, so I don't want to make this way too long. My power is going to go out, I feel like, soon because it's really windy, and yeah, this video needs to be up a couple hours ago, so... Let's get into it. The first thing I learned was I hate grapefruit. It's way too sour and I just don't like it at all. Number two is cats are a lot of work. Uh, I never expected this. I thought it would just be, you know, you feed them and you give them their food. It's a lot more than that. American Netflix is so much better than Canadian Netflix by like a lot. People tend to change a lot and not necessarily even people you thought who would change, just people who you never thought would change the way that they did, sometimes tend to change. I found out this year that the place that I am most comfortable with talking to people that I've... My lights just flickered. I found out this year that the place that I'm most comfortable with talking to people is at concerts or at meetup kind of things. I'm... <laughs> I've never been the kind of person that can just go up and talk to whoever I want to, but somehow when I'm at a meetup or I'm at a concert or something I can talk to whoever I want to and not worry about anything because I know that we have something in common and we can talk about something and there's something to relate on so I don't know it just makes it a lot easier. Guacamole isn't that bad. If you stay positive a lot of stuff can happen from meeting a celebrity to passing a test to getting a new pair of shoes. It's all depends on your positivity and if you stay positive then you never know what might happen. Something that I've literally just learned this year is that celebrities and famous people aren't so hard to reach. Like yes they are hard to find and you have to have I guess good luck and positivity like I just said but if you stay positive and you work on it and you try and reach them everyone has a chance to meet them. No, I haven't gone out and met a ton of people, but I have twice now, well I guess three times now, so I do have some experience now, but it's not as bad as you think it is and it's not as unreachable as you may think it is. I really enjoy poems or like, I guess written things that I can relate to on a personal level or I understand. Something like Connor Franta's whole YouTube video about the life doesn't wait and that whole kind of written poem kind of piece thing. I really enjoy things like that. Things that I can think about and relate to and just like gets me in that kind of mood of like, yeah, I guess it's like, that could happen. I learned this yesterday. Do not leave an entire novel to read the night before it's due for English. Bad choices. People can be mean and rude for the dumbest reasons. I don't really like driving, especially at night or when it's dark out. I don't know why. Um, it kind of stresses me out. My eyes aren't very good, so I just don't enjoy it. Um, don't really care about it. I like getting to places, I just don't like getting there myself. The best things seem to happen at the most unexpected times. You never know what's around the corner and you never will until it happens. Having a job is one of the most exhausting things ever, but the only reason why I still do it is because I need money. People aren't always who they say they are. Found this out recently too. And it sucks. And the last one is only a few seconds can change your life. If it's, you know, going to talk to a new person that you've never met before or going and volunteering to talk for a minute in front of the class. It doesn't really matter what it is. All it matters is it takes a few seconds of courage and it can change your life. Thanks for watching guys. If you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below video suggestions because I can always use some more. And subscribe if you aren't already. And yeah, I think that's it. So bye, I will see you next Tuesday with another new video. Peace on
I don't know what else I was going to say. Bye!